Hello friends, I welcome you to my channel Let's Get Graphics and Watch Media. Uh, my name is Rafi Yakub right there and in this video we are going to learn how to make simple banner in Photoshop step by step tutorial. But before I dive into tutorial, if you are really new to this channel, please remember to hit on the subscribe, turn on the notification bell so each time I post content you'll be notified. So with that being said, so let's dive into tutorial and see how you can create a simple web banner in Adobe Photoshop. So let's see. The first thing you need to do is to go to the home tab right there and then you have to click on file and make sure you click on new. So from the point here at the top here, this is where you need to type in the name of design web banner. Okay, then for the width, you just have to type in the width size should be 339 and then the height should be 346. Okay, and then you have to make sure your resolution is 300 and uh, your color CMYK and click on create. Alright, so next thing you need to do is to go to your toolbar right here and uh, this time around you have to click on hold down and make sure you choose your rectangle. Having choose your rectangle, you can come to the rectangle property from the home tab here. You have to change the color. So this allows you to be able to differentiate and you can draw your rectangle this way. Okay, so having AK a rectangle, next thing you need to do is to edit from the home tab here. This time around, you have to look for pre transform or press Ctrl T on your keyboard. Okay, so next thing you want to do is to come to the degree right here. At this point here, you have to type in 45 degree and uh, you have to click on this check mark to accept the degree. So, next thing you need to do is to click on yes. Then at this point here, you have to go back to your move tool and then this is allow you to just adjust the shape based on exactly what you need. You can press Ctrl minor to zoom in. You go to press Ctrl T again to open a transform tool. Then you have to press Ctrl key on my keyboard and drag. So this allow me to drag the shape from every angle. Okay. I can adjust it uh, backward a little bit and I have to come to the home tab right there and click on this check mark to confirm the transport. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is to come down below here and uh, I'm going to make a new layer. So having make a new layer, I have to go back to my toolbar here, click and hold down. This time around, I will have to choose my rectangle again. So having choose my rectangle again, I have to make another uh, rectangle so this time around I will just make a very tiny rectangle like this okay so we can come to the home tab here and make sure we change the color so it allows us to differentiate from them and then next thing we can do is to go back to edit and uh, we look for transform and the same way uh, right here we need to come to degree and this type now we have to type in 45 degree and uh, we click on this check mark to accept so we have to position this particular shape to the top right here and then we have to press ctrl t to open the transform tool and then we press shift key and drag shift key and hot key and drag so that it allows us to increase the size of the shape so we can properly uh, uh, position it. Okay. So we have to come to the top here and make sure you click on here to approve the transfer. Next thing we can do is to come down below here again to make a new layer. So we have to fall back to our rectangle again. So this time around we need to make a small, a tiny rectangle that is not bigger like this one that we have right here. So we need to just make it tiny a bit bit. And this time around, we have to come to the rectangle property from the home tab here also. And we can change the color to another light black. And then this time around, we need to go back to the edits from the home tab here. And uh, we go to pre transform. And then this time around, we have to come here also and type in 45 degree. And this time around, we have to right click on this and uh, we make sure we choose horizontal flip. So we're going to have something like this and we can drag it here overlay of this particular shape and press enter key on our keyboard. 
so this one right here we can easily make a duplicate of this so we have to come down here right click on this layer we can come to uh we can click on the uh, duplicate layer so we can cut this a uh, shape uh shape three uh, or new shape okay just to uh differentiate them then the duplicate one here we can just drag it out a little bit and uh, we have it this way so we can double click on the color thumbnail right there just for us to change the color we can click on this particular color here so we have something like this we can close this tab okay next thing we can do right here is to go back to the background of this particular design and uh, this time around we need to go back to our rectangle again so we're going to form this particular simple banner everything from rectangle so right here we can change this color and uh, we make another uh, another rectangle from the top right here so this way okay so we can easily close this tab so one more thing we can do right here is to make some shape uh, this particular shape to cut so what we can do right now is that we have to go to edit then go back to our pre transform so this time around let me press ctrl plus this halal will zoom out so this time around we will have to press ctrl key down and when you press ctrl key down it make your cursor return and then you just have to make it bend a little bit you can leave it in the minus 20 minus 22 you can put it in uh 0, 0.0 degree and then once you are done then you click on this check mark to approve it okay so next thing you can do here is to go to the home tab right here go to select make sure you click on select all then you have to come here make sure you align to the top edge okay so when you highlight to the top edge go back to select again this time around you have to choose the select okay so next thing you need to do is to make a duplicate of this particular shape for you to do that just press up here your keyboard and drag it down sit down like this and then you have something like this okay so next thing you can do here is to come to the home tab right here make sure you click on select click on hold so this time around you have to make sure you choose align to bottom edge okay so you have to come back to select again make sure you choose the select this time around okay so what we can do next is that we have to go back to this layer press shift key and select the second layer so you have to come here and make sure you align to left edge right edge okay this way so next thing we can do here is to select this particular shape uh the top shape right here and then we right make sure that we go to edit from the home tab here we look for our pre transform again so this time around we have to right click and make sure we click to particle so we are going to have something like this and then just click on check mark to confirm then you have to press ctrl a to select everything and make sure you align to the top like this once you're done then you have to press ctrl d to select so you have to drag this in a little bit and select the bottom one drag in a little bit so we have the same thing perfect. okay so next thing we can do is to pop back to this particular shape right here and uh, we have to go to five this time around and look for place embedded then select your picture and then uh, click on place the next thing you want to do is to adjust your picture into this particular place then we can press hot key on, uh, on our keyboard then to dra and drag the image proper way just to increase the image width Can position it the right way you want. You have to come to the home tab here and make sure you click on the check mark to accept. 
next thing you need to do is to right click on this DNA make sure you are authorized and the next thing you need to do is to right click again and this time around you have to look for print statement mark so once you claim this now, the image in the shape you are going to have something like this then you have to go to your rectangular marquee tool from the home tab here and uh, you just have to drag a little bit this way and uh, press ctrl j to make some copy and uh, you're going to have it this way press ctrl t to uh to open a transform field and uh, you have to press ctrl t down and drag just to increase the uh depth of the image so you're going to have stuff like this and uh, press enter key on your keyboard then you have to fall back here right click again and this time around you have to make it a quick mask or so Good. so you are going to have stuff like this so next is to apply color to some of the shape of it on this banner so we can select on this black layer uh, black shape and then we come to the layer right here you double click on the layer this allow you to have a color with then you have to come here so i'm going to show you the color code i use and uh, you're going to see it right there so this is the color code i use for this particular uh plane so you have to come to the top here and make sure you click on the cake so uh, lastly you have to select on this particular shape again and uh, you have to double click on the layer thumbnail and change the color from that point so right here this is the color i use for this point okay so uh once you do you have to click on okay right then you have to pop back to this particular shape and uh, double click on the layer thumbnail right here so you have to change the color also so i'm changing the color to this particular uh yellow and then you have to hit on okay then you have to pop back to this particular shape double click on the layer thumbnail and uh, we're going to pick from this color right here and uh, we're going to do the same for this one right here and uh, we have to double click on this uh, layer thumbnail and we pick the color from this point here and uh, we click on ok so the next thing to do is to apply text into our banner